Hey guys, Nush Rules here, and this time I'm showing you some of the subtle, uh, not exactly hidden, but some of the smaller, harder to notice design changes that many people don't mention in their mountain lion reviews. Small, small changes that Apple has made in terms of design when moving from lion to mountain lion. So these are the new, some new design changes that you see in Mac OS 10.8 mountain lion that weren't there in older versions of Mac OS lion or snow leopard whatever so yeah here we go the first change is the little dock design changes that Apple's made uh, if you look here if you zoom in you see that this little rectangular light over here indicates that an app is open well before if you look at the Im image above you can see it used to be more of a circular light above each app to indicate that it's open so for example if I open an app like that a light just comes up before it used to be a circle now it's rectangular Another thing is that they've also changed the separator between uh, the apps and the folders. There's a little separator you can see above. It used to be different. Now it's just like a simple little line over there. The second cool thing that they added is that they give you a little status bar uh, uh, every time you download something. So, for example, if I download this uh, uTorrent, and the download just jumps into my thing, and I have this little status bar right here that shows me the progress of the download. And then it'll just show me how much of my downloads going on. Of course, I can also see it here in the downloads menu. And after it's done, it'll just bounce there a little. If I'm even doing it in another folder, uh, like for example, I have a folder here on my desktop called downloading apps. And if I save it here, then uh, if you open it, you see that the file itself will have this little status bar where you can see how it's going. And then when it's done, Done. So another cool feature that uh, Apple's added in Mountain Lion is that you can share uh, apps from the App Store. So if I'm on the App Store browsing some apps and I see uh, something I like, for example this app, and I want to show it to a friend, and, uh, maybe tell him how awesome it is or whatever, and then they've added this little uh, sidebar here. If you click on it, you can either share it on Twitter. I don't have an account configured, so I can't do it. But you can tweet it or you can send it to someone uh, via iMessage so it's right here there's a pop-up and I can just send it to contact for example this guy just send it and then bam it's gone and then you'll be able to check that out via iTunes link so another feature that many people may not notice and it's quite subtle and hard to notice is the new features that Apple's added in their text edit and preview apps that is the two new areas which is the iCloud over here and the on my Mac section so the iCloud section is basically files that you can move onto the cloud for viewing on all your devices directly from within the app and of course if you click on on my Mac for preview you can just load up maybe a wallpaper or anything that preview you can load up like so just like the normal way you do it and the same with text edit you can just view anything so both those apps have that and also for the iCloud section you can of course uh, move files to the cloud so for example if I have a document here maybe something like this I can just move it to the cloud and then it'll be there available to see on all my devices and if I don't want it I can just command delete and then I can delete it from the cloud so that's a cool new feature to keep all your files in the cloud and be able to access it from anywhere so another really awesome feature that Apple's added is in the dashboard section of Mac OS X and if you click on it you see that before whenever you wanted to add a new widget you'd have the plus sign and when you click on it you'd get a little bar at the bottom where you could just place the widgets but now it's been replaced in Mountain Lion by this really cool new interface uh, which is like the grid uh, uh, kind of interface that you have in iOS or Launchpad and you can actually move your apps around and arrange them you can also place your apps into different folders so I can and you can even rename this for example like rename travel and then you can arrange them really cool ways and of course you can even search for them so yeah that's that's really cool that's a really cool new way to manage your widgets and arrange them so you can be more organized next one really isn't a feature or an improvement in any way it's just a a change that Apple's made to uh, some of the names of its uh, applications or preference panes so if you open up the finder you see that 
the address book application is now called contacts by default so that is the default new name it's called contacts now it is not called address book you see here on the right side it used to be called address book before but now they renamed it to contacts and if you go in settings you can see that they've also renamed uh, their uh, universal access preference pane in the settings to accessibility right here so yeah you can see on the right side it used to be called uh, universal access but now it's accessibility and it's all in one place a really cool thing that Apple's added is that you can uh, now use your screensavers to display pictures from your photo stream. So if you have a screensaver that uh, uses photos that you pick, so right now I'm in the, co in the Cosmos library, I can go in the Arial library and you see all these different pictures. I, of course I can also pick my own and before you couldn't do this but now uh, you can also get, uh, sorry, you can also get pictures from your photo library in iPhoto and from your photo stream. So that's really good. And that's a really cool new feature, and you can get your pictures directly from your photo screen and use them on your screensaver. So this next feature is really hard to notice, and I'm sure most people did not take note of this. Uh, it is in the text edit app, and it's like if you open a file, you normally, if you want to rename this file, you'd have to go into Finder and find the file and then just rename it this way, like how you're used to doing it. But in Mountain Lion, you have this new feature where if you scroll over here to the title, on, of the document you see this little arrow that comes up here you click on it and then you see the rename option and then you can rename it directly from there and type in whatever you want to call it and then enter and then it's done well that's the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it again this was not about any of the major features in Mountain Lion like notification center or Siri dictation this was some of the minor stuff that many people may often miss out on or not notice if you, if you guys enjoyed the video, please check out my channel for other videos on the Mac and on the iPhone or gaming stuff on the PS Vita or any other PlayStation consoles or Xbox. I also do gaming videos on the Mac, so if you want to check out the gaming performance of a MacBook Pro, then check out my channel. And if you like the video, please thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.